Hi everyone, this is David Arnold. I'm at the Phoenix Art Museum and I'm looking at the In Focus exhibition of self-published photo books. I'm going to take a look at some of the examples here. As we have learned in our readings and research, in beginning with the first handmade examples by Anna Atkins and William Henry Fox Talbot, photography has been intertwined with the book. All the photographers turn to established publishers for the design, production, and distribution of their photographs in book form, self-published photography books and books released through small publishing firms have a long tradition in photography. Today photography is experiencing a renaissance of book publishing and many of the titles we are seeing are self-published. The appearance of new digital printing technologies and largely internet-based book production services are encouraging photographers and artists to experiment with book design and production. As we see from the examples of the recent In Focus exhibition of self-published books, photographers are actively engaged in using books as an important component of their artistic practice. As we will see from our assignment, each book printer is just a little bit different. Do your research. Question every aspect of the printing process. Look closely at the inks used and the archival qualities of the printing process and the papers that are used. I encourage you to consider using on-demand book printing as a component of your artistic practice. Making your own book, even a very short run, can make a difference in your personal commitment to a body of work. Seeing your work in the context of a book format is an excellent exercise in clarifying a body of work. Seeing your work in book format can provide connections not seen in other presentation formats. So again, I encourage you to look closely at different book printers and publishers, and perhaps there's an opportunity for you to use this format for a body of work of your own.